Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this replay cast between Rockmox and Cron Aberrant on Hills. I'm your host, Chatterfury333, and let's get started. Rockmox choosing CISO very quickly. Cron Aberrant probably choosing Grekum. And yes, he is. Cron Aberrant is going for Grekum, getting his. Well, I don't really see him at the start they're going for yet. Rockmox is going for very quick 3 RP and importer start. So he's possibly going to go for fairly quick military, but not especially quick. Not an all-in military, but he could get a factory right now, and then from there build up a pretty good economy. So we'll see how it goes. Kron Aberrant, on the other hand, has not put himself in a position where he's really showing his cards yet. He has... Well, he's paused, setting up his RP. He's probably going for an economic start. So Rockmox... Scouting out with his Marine and Special Ops so that we'll be able to find Cryhammer pretty quickly so Rockmox will know what's going on, what Cryhammer is up to, and yeah, Cryhammer getting his standard... Actually, oh, looks like he's getting an Octo quickly for... Not sure if he's going to use that for an RP or if he's going to use that for Progeneration. Like, Hills is kind of a smaller map, so it's difficult to tell whether players are going to be going for an all-in or going for an economic strategy just because it's kind of... It's large enough that an economic strategy can work if you can defend against an all-in, but all-ins can hit within a minute, so it's something that I don't know if players have completely adjusted to. So um, it's hard for me to tell, just off the bat, whether the players are planning on going for all-ins or if they're planning on going for more economic mid-game strategies. And it looks like Cryhammer is definitely going for an economic mid-game strategy. Rockmox, on the other hand, is not even focusing on his base yet. He's jumping back in the past. Look like he's might be focusing on the base in the past. He is focusing on his scouting attack, seeing Cryhammer is, in fact, going for Grekum. And other than that, hasn't really done any base management or macro management or anything. Getting up a factory now at the 119 mark, about a minute down from the present. But he is not paying a huge amount of attention, not multitasking especially well. Cryhammer, on the other hand, is setting himself up to allow for... He did get a pull of QP, so he'll be able to get an Octopod if he needs to. Which, at this point, it's hard to tell. An early factory is coming up, so an early ATHC is likely. I I would say build the Octopod. Definitely would be a good idea to build that. But, surprisingly enough, Primer's not going for that yet. He's probably just trying to get the exact perfect timing for that. Rockmox is about a minute down from Crown Aberrant. And just trying to approach from different angles. So both players are really just poking at each other at this point. It's kind of standard early game. I'm trying to figure out what the others are up to. Octopod is coming up for Cron Aberrant, so if any ATCs come up, which Rockmox has not gone forward to build yet, that will be very handily deflected. Not this one factory... So Rockmox, he looks like he is paying attention to the factory, or... Yeah, there we go. He is trying to pay attention to the factory. Should be getting up an ATHC once that's up, but... I'm not sure if he's actually paying attention to it or not. He is. There's an ATC coming up. Two ATCs coming up. Okay, so he is going for a fairly powerful opening rush. And Cron Aberrant is about a minute ahead, and he's got his Octopod up, but it's fairly forward. I I think the ATCs will likely be coming through the north and then going south from there. So they'll probably miss the Octopod, and that will be a bad position for Cron Aberrant. So if Cron Aberrant... If Crown Aberrant does not change his tactics quickly, he won't actually be able to stop these ATHCs coming up. But on the other hand, Rockmox is sending this ATH ATHC attack fairly late, so Crown Aberrant could very well find it before it comes up. We will see once Rockmox actually sends them over. And no, they're going straight through the south, and that will be blocked off quite handily by that Octopod. Though Rockmox may yet go back in time and change the attack path towards the north, which I expect he will do once he sees the Octopod in front there. Whether Cron Aberrant will actually respond to that remains to be seen, but... We do see the Octopod... No, oh, Cron Aberrant is actually sending it around to the north, so he is getting a bit suspicious. After he checks out his base, make sure everything's... Or, not his base, his backyard expansion, he's going to double-check the north, so... I think that won't be in time. I think he's really out of position right now. I... I expect that the ATCs will be coming in. Ah, here we are. The ATCs coming in, hitting that octopod, and Rockmox pulling them back. Actually, not moving them forward to the north yet. He might be eventually. He is not building any more ATCs yet. No, he is continuing towards the main base the same way he had before. So not changing his attack path yet, but I imagine he will be fairly soon. 
And in fact, going towards the backyard expansion, ex expecting that Crown Avern has expanded there quickly, which he hasn't. And I should probably point out that in 1.3.0.0, the economy is such that expanding towards the backyard expansion isn't as much of a given as it used to be. In the earlier versions of the game, you got so many resource processors for any given amount of cash that it was very common for players to go into the backyard expansion, just grab that as well as their main. But in this version, RPs are so expensive that getting that backyard expansion is not really worth it this early in the game. It's worth it eventually, but not at... not even five minutes in the game. Definitely not at, four, at three minutes or so in the game that Rockmox is searching for it. So I... I just gotta point that out. It's really something to keep in mind now, that RPs do not get built that rapidly. As you can see, Rockmox is going for that, but he is kind of abandoning his main base and spreading himself somewhat thin in the process. However, given that he is rushing, he should be able to get away with this, and taking the back... Well, he's trying to take the back door in. He's not actually going for it yet. Jumping back, double-checking the playable pass where he sent his infantry in, going for a nice little uppercut, so Crown Aberrant... His economy is taking quite a bit of damage, and... I don't know... Oh, he's putting a mounted there, okay. I don't know, I thought it was a spire for some reason. Got a mound up, so he can, he can scatter ATCs coming in. Good idea, I do like to see that. I've always said I like Con Relays being played. However, Rockmox... Wow, Rockmox is really tearing apart Crown Aberrant's economy. I don't... Hey, Crown Aberrant is out of position for the Zoshpod and any main base forces. He has got nothing. He, and for some reason, building a Seppi to deal... Oh, it must have been a Seppi for a Reef. Sorry, that's... That's completely explainable. He was building that for a Reef, which is now no longer going to happen. That's... Wow, that's kind of short. So, nicely done all-in by... Well, not really all-in, but nicely done scouting attack by Rockmox. So, yeah, Crown Aberrant really could have played that a bit more safe, but... Yeah, I'm not sure exactly why he moved his Octopod forward. Really does need to be a bit more defensive early on. Anyway, very quick lessons to be learned about how all-ins can work in Agron. So, nicely done, Rockmox. That's one game for him. So, just gonna stop this and go on to another game. We will be having more games shortly, so stay tuned. Just be closing off the stream for just a couple seconds. So, I'll see you all in a minute.